Good morning, and welcome to the historic Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. We pray that you are all in good health. Our gathering chant this morning is number 369 in the Catholic Book of Worship, O Merciful Redeemer, and our presider is Archbishop Hunt. Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. As we come together to give God praise and to bring to him our prayers and petitions, I invite you to remember in a special way today the 17 deceased of the uh, uh, flight, uh, Cougar Flight 491. Uh, that disaster took place 12 years ago today, and we remember especially those that have died and their family and friends and co-workers. <clears throat> also today at 12 noon, uh, we begin this year's 24 hours for the Lord. Uh, this is a uh, annual uh, time of prayer that the Pope uh, initiated in 2014. Um, it goes from 12 noon today till 12 noon tomorrow. And here at the Basilica, we'll have live streamed Eucharistic adoration for that 24 hours and a special service this evening from 7 to 9, <clears throat> celebrating reconciliation in God's mercy and goodness. That we may worthily enter into this celebration and bring to God our prayers and petitions, we pause to call to mind his goodness and to ask forgiveness for our sins. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour your grace into our hearts, we pray, O Lord, that we may be constantly drawn away from unruly desires and obey by your own gift of heavenly teaching and obey by your own gift the heavenly teaching you give us through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. 
Thus says the Lord. Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God, for you have stumbled because of your iniquity. Take words with you and return to the Lord. Say to him, take away all guilt, accept that which is good, and we will offer the fruit of our lips. Assyria shall not save us. We will not ride upon horses. We will say no more, our God, to the work of our hands. In you, the orphan finds mercy. I will heal their disloyalty. I will love them freely, for my anger has turned from them. I will be like the dew to Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall take root like the forests of Lebanon. His shoots shall spread out. His beauty shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like that of Lebanon. They shall again live beneath my shadow. They shall flourish as a garden. They shall blossom like the vine. Their fragrance shall be like the wine of Lebanon. O Ephraim, what have I to do with idols? It is I who answer and look after you. I am like an evergreen cypress. Your faithfulness comes from me. Those who are wise understand these things. Those who are discerning know them. For the ways of the Lord are right and the upright walk in them, but transgressors stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 81, sing aloud to God our strength. Sing aloud to God our strength. Sing aloud to God our strength. Raise a song, sound the tambourine, the sweet lyre with the harp. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, at the full moon on our festal day. Sing aloud to God our strength for it is a statute for Israel an ordinance of the God of Jacob he made it a decree in Joseph when he went out over the land of Egypt Sing aloud to God our strength. I hear a voice I had not known. I relieved your shoulder of the burden. Your hands were freed from the basket. In distress you called and I rescued you. Sing aloud to God our strength. 
There shall be no strange god among you. You shall not bow to a foreign god. I am the Lord your God, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. Sing aloud to God our strength. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the scribes came near and asked Jesus, which commandment is the first of all? Jesus answered, the first is, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Then the scribe said to him, You are right, teacher. You have truly said that he is one and besides him there is no other. And to love him with all the heart and with all the understanding and with all the strength, and to love one's neighbor as oneself, this is much more important than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he had answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. After that, no one dared to ask him any question. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When I was reflecting on the Gospel passage today, it struck me that these two commandments, that we are to love God with all our heart and soul and mind and strength, and to love our neighbors ourself, I, I was finding an interesting uh, contrast there. It, it struck me that the first commandment of loving God and loving him with heart, soul, mind, and strength makes, needs to take place for us to properly follow the second commandment of loving neighbor as self. Some people struggle with self-loathing. Uh, they find themselves to be not worthy. And so to love their neighbor like themselves is, is not a good thing. Other people struggle with egotism and, and a sense of narcissism, uh, which wouldn't be good for them to share with others either. To love our neighbors as ourselves requires us first to have a proper love of self. And we get that by loving God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. 
when we love God that way, it really takes us back to the first reading from Hosea. It takes us back to knowing God and knowing him as a God that is gentle and merciful, a God who has loved us into being and loves us and is willing to forgive us our faults, who loves us as we are and shares with us his divinity, calling us to be creative as he is, to be creative in love as he is. In the Mass, we celebrate God's great love for us. And if in celebrating the Mass, we can open ourselves to that love, if we can open ourselves to, to know God's love, then we cannot help but also love him with our heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. And to do that allows us to recognize how much we are loved by him, and so we can love ourselves and love others as ourself in a way that truly gives God praise and that allows us to reflect his love to our world. As we continue in our Mass and as we prepare to begin this 24 hours for the Lord, it's a wonderful time for us to take time to be with God, uh, to sit in his presence, uh, even if it has to be electronically sitting in his presence, to, 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 to reflect on, on the gift and the mystery of the Eucharist and on the gift and the mystery of that reconciliation that God offers to all those people who will open themselves to his love and allow themselves to be invited by him to share that love with him, God, and with one another. God bless you. With confidence in God's goodness and love, let us offer to him our prayers and petitions. We begin by praying for our Pope and for all of our religious and civil leaders that they may always seek to open themselves to the love of God and to be channels of that love in the leadership they provide in our world. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for ourselves and for all who have been given the gift of faith that day by day we may seek to nourish that faith and open ourselves ever more fully to God's love so that we may reflect it back to him and to one another. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for all those people who do not find themselves to be lovable, that in the midst of their hurt and pain, that they may open themselves to God's love and may come to recognize how special and precious they are to him. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the suffering, for all those who are struggling with any type of illness or pain or persecution today, for God's love and consolation for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all those who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith, and today on this 12th anniversary of the crash of Cougar Flight 491, we pray for those who died in that crash, and for their families and friends and co-workers. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pause for a moment to bow our heads and offer our own personal intentions. For all of these intentions we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear the prayers that we offer you this morning both those we have spoken aloud and those that are in our hearts, for they are offered through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, 
May we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name and for our good and for the good of your sanctuary church. Look with favor, we pray, Lord, on the offerings we dedicate, that they may be pleasing in your sight and always be salutary for us through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that we should always give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you do not cease to spur us on to possess a more abundant life. And being rich in mercy, you constantly offer pardon and call on sinners to trust in your forgiveness alone. Never did you turn away from us, and though time and again we have broken your covenant, you have bound the human family to yourself through Jesus, your Son, our Redeemer, with a new bond of love so tight that it can never be undone. Even now you set before your people a time of grace and reconciliation, and as they turn back to you in spirit, you grant them hope in Christ Jesus and, it is, and a desire to be of service to all while they entrust them themselves more fully to the Holy Spirit. And so filled with wonder, we extol the power of your love, and proclaiming our joy at the salvation that comes from you, we join in the heavenly hymn of countless hosts, as without end we acclaim. from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work so that the human race may become holy just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray, upon your people's offerings and pour out on them your spirit that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love, for your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In the 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead. And looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, the sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, And grant that, by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into the one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, who we humbly commend to your mercy. Then, freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of the Lord's peace. of the world have mercy
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy, worthy that, you that you should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, roof but, but only say, say the, the word, word, and my soul, my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. A prayer for those who are unable to receive Holy Communion at this time. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. May your strength be at work in us, O Lord, pervading our minds and bodies, that what we have received by participating in the sacrament may bring us the fullness of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you to join with me in praying the prayer of Pope Francis to Mary for help and protection during the coronavirus pandemic. O Mary, Mary, you you always always shine shine in our our path path as a sign sign of salvation salvation and and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping your faith firm. You, salvation of your people, know what we need, and we are sure that you will provide, so that, as in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father, and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. Under your protection, we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial, but deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the faithful who implore your mercy, that trusting in your kindness, they may spread far and wide the gifts your charity has bestowed through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Our missioning hymn is number 439 in the Catholic Book of Worship, The Master Came to Bring Good News. The Master came to bring good news, the news of love and freedom, to heal the sick and seek the poor, to build the peaceful kingdom. Sweet.